Hare Krishna. Our mind is constantly hiding and is constantly ready to give us a hiding. Hiding refers to staying in a concealed place and hiding also refers to giving a severe beating to someone. So our mind is constantly hiding in the sense that our mind exists inside us and because it exists inside us it is not easily accessible it is not easily sorry it's not easily visible it is something which we can't see and it is whose very presence also we tend to forget that which is not visible that tends to become uh, uh, become not stay in our memory also so our mind is constantly hiding because it is inside us, not visible to us, and in that sense, it is it is concealed from our vision. And while it is concealed, it's like say somebody be some if we are in a room, and somebody pinches us, somebody whips us, somebody stings us, and we cannot see who is it that is stinging us. Say if there is a if there is a mosquito which is elusive, then we can't actually see the mosquito. And it keeps biting upon us. It keeps biting us. And when we try to catch it, it's already slipped away. We don't even know where it is. So the mind is hiding inside us. So it's not a mosquito which we can catch. And further, it is constantly ready to give us a hiding. That means once the mind becomes infatuated with a particular desire, it just goes crazy. It says, I want this and I want this right away. And it goads us, it torments us. It threatens us. Basically, internally, it starts giving us a hiding until we give in and do whatever it is telling us to do. So, if you understand, this is how the mind is there inside us and this is how it will keep tormenting us unless we learn to resist it. Unless we make a plan consciously to remind ourselves that there is the mind and that it will trouble us. So the Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter tells us that our mind is by default our enemy. So it says that Bandhur Atma Atmanastasya that the mind is the friend for those who are elevated. That those who have elevated enough to have controlled the mind. And the mind is the enemy for those who have failed to, to control it. So con controlling the mind begins with first remembering the mind is there, detecting it, detecting its voice and then evaluating and resisting it. So how can we get the mind out of hiding? Uh, the mind is always going to be inside us. But... Spiritual knowledge, scriptural knowledge is like an antar jyoti, like an inner knowledge. Jnana dipe na bhasvata. The Bhagavad Gita says that our, we, our inner world can become illumined by the torchlight of knowledge. And when we are internally illumined like this by Jnana Deepa, then we can know what is going on inside. Then if somebody is hiding in the dark, if we have light, then we can catch them. We can, and then when it tries to give us an hiding, we can resist it. How? If we cultivate absorption in something which is meaningful, in something which is fulfilling, then we won't get swept away by the mind. We won't get carried away and thus we will be able to strengthen ourselves. We will be able to overcome the temptations that the mind the proddings of the mind that we, uh, that come from it and we will be able to move forward purposefully. Thus we get the mind out of hiding, hiding with the torchlight of spiritual knowledge and with the shield, with the protector of spiritual engagement, we save ourselves from its hiding and then we engage it in Krishna's service and gradually it becomes purified and then it becomes our friend. Thank you. Hare Krishna.